Hi, picked up this Marantz SD333 cassette deck. I like this configuration with the pull-out tray and the low profile. And I wanted to see if I could get it running. So the first thing I did when I pulled it apart was to start working on getting all of the belt debris uh, removed from the chassis and the circuit boards. And if you've never gone through this, you're in for quite a treat. But you got to get all of the debris out of there. And uh, you'll also notice that it not only falls throughout the bottom of the chassis, but it also gets all over the pulleys and uh, the drive mechanisms. So you got to make sure that uh, you get all that out. So it takes, you know, dozens of Q-tips and a half a bottle of alcohol to get it out of there. So after it's all cleaned up, I put on some temporary belts just to give it a test run, and it did not work. It did power on, uh, but nothing came to life. So I found a schematic and started tracing the wiring out and wasn't very far into it when I found an open resistor as R801 and that happens to be a 2.2 ohm uh, resistor. I think it's a half a watt. So there's a sample of the schematic and uh, the resistor that was blown. So we've got the resistor installed now and let me show you, uh, zoom in a little bit here and I'll show you where that resistor is on the power supply. <laughs> uh, pull the wiring out of the way a little bit so you can see that and I'll zoom in and that's where the resistor is so with the resistor installed we got the power restored and we've got both of the belts spinning at this point and the display activated on the front so with that at least temporarily running I'm gonna go ahead and order the belts and when I get the belts I'll put a follow-up video together to show you uh, the belt replacement and installation. So thanks for watching.